Well, let's see how this matchup plays out between uh, Wilson and Washington. Let's see whether Wilson can slow him down here in the second half. Yes, Washington already with 18 points in the game. And right now, San Miguel is looking for that matchup. And there's a quick foul given up by Wilson. Well, Coach Tunkinson knows who the hot man is on his team. And he called that play right out of a timeout. Just join us, Villanueva. Once again, they'll be looking for Washington posting up. Washington makes his move, spins, tough turnaround, still hot. Like just a replay. Yeah. <laughs> no different. Now with 20 points in a game. His left knee is heavily bandaged, although it doesn't seem to bother him. Noel inside, nice pick and roll play, classic. And an extra free throw coming up for Rafi Rivas. Well, Gabe Freeman's trying to show everybody, he just put his hands up in the air. And he's going to pick up that foul, it's going to be his third. It was a really good pass coming from David Noel that time. So Rivas now on the line. Completes that three-point play. The lead is down to five. Tunisi, Washington, same play. Once again now, back on, on Wilson. And no signs of uh, Nebra double teaming early or putting a bigger man on Jay Washington. You know, as far as Wilson's defense, you can use that forearm as long as he doesn't have the basketball. Once he gets it, you have to come off. And they're, they're going to make milk this play until Nebra finds a solution. And that's a shot that they want Washington to take. An outside jumper. Brand. Nice fake. Inside pass. Back outside to Kubid. Kubid now gets past. Million Weber misses that layup. Ontiveros needing the break. Three on two breaks for San Miguel. Splits the defense. Oh, misses that one as well. Counter fast break here for Balangay Hinebra. Inside pass. Wilson. Yes. That's great ball movement there by Hinebra on that fast break. And the lead is down to three. And the Nebra crowd is alive. William Weber silences the crowd with their penetration. And for all the young kids out there, that's the advantage of being able to use both hands. A nice pass from Noel to Wilson. And here's William Weber, a determined move inside the lane well the good thing about that play for him never was the fact that Revis told his teammate Heltebrand my fault and Revis should have helped out on that play did not but good communications between the players and now Villanueva completes that three-point play once again the lead is up to six five points for Jonas Villanueva Kubid, pass deflected, picked it up again. Once again, this time it's stolen. Jay Washington, looking inside, Freeman. Freeman now, plenty of time here, 10 seconds to shoot for San Miguel. Villanueva asking for a screen. Now Villanueva, oh, loses control. And turns it over. Well, he asked for a screen. He actually got two screens, but <laughs> didn't know what to do with it. Cause of concern for Coach Shot Duncan Sen. I'd like to thank Gatorade, the official sports drink of the PBA. Is it in you? Or well, counter turnover here for Barangay Nebra. Uh, illegal screen by Rafi Rivas. It's actually his fourth foul. That's a pretty good call there by the referee. A big development here for 
Barangay Hinebra cannot afford to have another big guy in foul trouble. Villanueva change of pace, kicks it out, extra pass to Ontiveros. Ontiveros now drives and he is hammered by JJ Helterbrand. Couldn't contain his momentum. It's going to be foul number three on JJ as he takes his time. Catch his win. Well, JJ was actually running out to get his man and just ran <laughs> right into the offensive it's player. Like there was an intersection. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Two cars hitting each other. So Helterbrand gets a breather together with Tubit. Change in the backcourt for Barangay Nebra. You have Chico Lanete and Cyrus Baggio. The substitution might not be that bad because you know, they expended so much energy just getting back into this game here yeah. at the start of the third period. You might want to give them a couple minutes rest. Washington again working against Wilson. And at least the referees have been very consistent on calling that against Wilson. But uh, Coach John Uchiko asking for some clarification on that arm bar. Substitution, Eric Beck checks in for Rodriguez. Well, to be safe, you just have to release that arm bar and just play straight up deep and yeah, use since, your chest. Since they're calling it already. And you see the arm bar is there right now. Once he starts to make this move, you might have to come off of him. Oh, but if you use two hands I, and he faces the basket, you really have to get your hands off. Missed by Washington. Wilson picks up the loose ball. Oh, nice anticipation there by Jay Wash. You can see last, the last play, Wilson did a much better job playing defense, just using his chest instead of his hand. Right now, he's guarding Gabe Freeman. Freeman now pulls up. Chico Lanete looking down court. Brings it over to Baggio. Baggio. Ready for an opening. Or shot, Mink. Goes inside, Mink. Left at yeah. the end. That's good. Well, he did not move with very much quickness there, but yeah. he got the job done. He has seven points in the game. Brings down the lead to four. There's Jay Washington. The shot is up. Maybe a bit winded now. Oh, misses again. Freeman, another miss. Point blank misses for San Miguel. Lanete, nice pass inside. And no one misses. Tipping by Eric Mink. Uh, Willie really Wilson is bleeding right now. He just got hit in the lip. The play is still going on until oh. somebody calls a time. I know. I, I, don't, I didn't even hear the buzzer. <laughs> yes. The Nebra crowd is alive. Their team is now only down by two. We'll take this break. All right. Uh, welcome back. And in Nebra in another run here. Let's see if San Miguel will have an answer. Well, what contribution from the guy coming off an injury, Eric Mink. Giving good numbers for Inebra and Mick again here with a follow-up as we go to Chiqui Reyes. You know, Major Payne is definitely not happy with his performance so far in the finals. His exact words, I played horrible in game two, but not here in game three. According to Eric, his first practice with the team after being sidelined for a month was last Tuesday, June 30, the day before game one. His main focus now is to help defensively as this is badly needed for him by Ginebra. But so far, scoring is also his other option. Richard? That's a, it's a very tough adjustment for Eric Meg after a month of inactivity. That's correct, and he has a calf injury that he's nursing. Well, Wilson kept pointing to the referees that, hey, I have a busted lip. Watch out for the elbows of the, of the San Miguel players. So now they told him to go back to the bench and fix your busted <laughs> lip. <laughs> All right now, a temporary <laughs> ambassador, Christy Kenny, there. Uh, enjoying the action. And of course, but they're still not happy with the, uh, okay, everything's okay now. Of course, uh, our bosses from Solar, Sir Peter Chanlong.